everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message. We're going to have a lot to talk about here. So even as we get started here, we are coming into, as of the recording of this, these are timeless, but as of the recording of this video, we have just started 2023. And I'm a little concerned that people aren't really taking this time seriously. We're already seeing the earth changes. We're already seeing people act out in crazy ways. And I'm doing everything I can here <laughs> to prep everybody. If you are not in a spiritually fortified place, if you do not have your energy in check, you are going to see things fall apart in your own life. And I want to give the heads up on that. So, and, and the reason why that is, is that if we haven't learned lessons, this is where the spiritual lessons are going to hit us pretty hard, okay? Uh, and also, we're going to see people malfunctioning because they do operate from such an egotistical place that they are not prepared. And ego doesn't have to mean, you know, just they're full of themselves or they don't care about anybody. Ego can get involved when we are doubting ourselves. So if you have been in a space of doubting yourself, you're going to see a very uncomfortable situation happen that could... Um, almost like trigger an emergency feeling in you. So getting prepared, understanding what's going on for you, helping you open up your energy so that you can have a peaceful 2023 where you can make beautiful things happen for you. This could absolutely be the time where you make that career shift or you finally get into a healthy partnership or you're finally, you know, as you see some old friends fall away, you're making healthier, more beautiful connections with people who authentically care for you. Maybe having, you know, a chance to get that house that you've always wanted or, you know, to have your income and your finances all straightened out and be financially comfortable. All those kinds of things. Getting it lined up now is imperative. Again, as I'm recording this, we're coming up on January 11th. So when we're talking about number frequencies and angelic numbering, uh, we every month have a chance where it's not like a full blown gigantic portal because really there's not as much attention and focus going into that portal. But if you focus your attention, like on New Year's Day, that was 1 1 2023, now we have 1 11 2023, these are your chances to sort of ride that momentum, right? So I'm going to be bringing more awareness to that. I, I guess I, as a practitioner, kind of always took for granted that everybody already knew that. And I've been shocked to learn that people don't know how to prep for those energetic openings. Um, you know, I'm working with astrologers too. I'm not an astrologer, but you know, with uh, new moons, full moons, you know, all that kind of stuff. We can be in the flow of what's already occurring around us, what occurs around us naturally, energetically, and also the things that are popping up to teach us, okay? And learning how to um, go through those lessons with grace and not with terror. Okay. <laughs> so as always use whatever tools that you want, but I do offer personal readings. There has been some confusion. People are saying, well, what if I want more than 30 minutes? What if I want uh, an Akashic records reading? What if I want a 2023 year overview? You're just booking in 30 minute increments. So if you want an hour and a half, if you want two hours, you would just have to go in and book that amount of time, okay? So you just put how many readings you want. And then in the submission form, that's where you give me some of your information and you let me know you want the Akashic Records reading or if you could spend a half hour talking about my career and a half hour talking about love life, you know, it's still going to be a little up to the angels, obviously, <laughs> about what's coming through, but we could certainly do it that way. So just specify it in your submission form Please pay attention to the delivery timing. I try to keep you updated on social media. I don't know if that's annoying or helpful. Most of the time people say it's helpful, but you let me know in the comments below. And also, you know, being mindful that it is delivered via MP3. People think that there's something wrong with it not being face-to-face. -face. I can tell you after having done this for a decade, it is far more effective to just give me what you want to know and let me tune in. Let me get into the mediumship part of it or maybe even to channeling, okay? And if I can just flow with that, get it recorded, capture it, your own personal angelic messaging, and get that sent to you, 
There you go. Okay, so there is that. And I have been holding live sessions. So you can book a ticket for that. We'll sit face to face, have a live conversation. And I usually, the way we've been kind of doing this is I talk for about 20 minutes about whatever the topic is. I pause to see if there are questions. We might speak on it a little bit more. And then we go one-on-one -on -one with the people who are in the session and you get to ask things that you've been curious about, all right? As far as predictive stuff goes, let's, let's approach this as well. I've always said the angels are not predictive because they do not interfere with human free will. And there seems to be some confusion around that because I know there's some great practitioners out there who are angelic practitioners who give what they're calling predictive readings. Uh, usually that's more... The angels are giving us a heads up and a warning. There are going to be major earthquakes, okay? That's not, I mean, it's predictive, but it's a warning, right? It's not really going against your free will to give you a heads up about that. Does that, does that make sense? Now, if you want me to use my psychic abilities to give you a predictive reading, that's not necessarily what I do, okay? But if you're really, really concerned about something and it's really holding you up, leave that in your submission form, just know it's not necessarily angelic messaging. It's me using my psychic abilities to take a timestamp on. I'm knocking the cards everywhere. <laughs> to put a timestamp on where you are right now and let you know what trajectory you're on. That way you can have a heads up to work around it. I just want to make that distinction though. Because I don't want people saying, oh, Archangel Michael told me that I'm going to get that job. Archangel Michael didn't tell you that you're getting that job, okay? You told yourself that you're getting that job. Archangel Michael probably told you it's time for something new. It's time to move on. It's time to expand your horizons. And then you put your ego around it and made it mean something that you wanted. Cool? Okay. Angelsouls444.com for booking those personal readings. Again, you can book as many sessions as you want all together. Just make sure you're very clear <laughs> so, so that when I get to your reading, you know, I, I can go ahead and hit the ground running. As of the recording of this, I am running ahead of schedule. But we know how that goes, right? You may not catch this video for a while. Just know that uh, at the most, there will be a 20-day wait time. That's at the most, okay? I've never, even when I've had a flood of readings come in, I've never gone past 20 days, all right? But I always try to get them to you faster than that. Please do not keep emailing, asking where it is. Not only is it, if I can be very human and very frank, it's annoying, okay? <laughs> Why do you put a panic in me thinking that I missed your reading? And then I say, you just put it in yesterday, don't do that to me, okay? Don't do that to me. Don't scare me like that. So just, <laughs> like I said, I will get it to you as quickly as I can. I promise I always do, all right? So again, angelsouls444.com to book your session. I do have my blog over there. Check that out. Check out Substack. I'm doing all kind of writing, okay? I'm doing that. It's happening. My, my year 2023, I'm doing that. And also the lives will always be, the links to those will always be in the description box, they usually last about an hour. Sometimes we go past an hour if we're having a great discussion. Sometimes it goes on to two hours. And you will have access to the recording for one week after the live happens. So if something comes up and you can't necessarily be right there for the live, it's all good. You can still catch whatever we talk about in the replay. Okay? All right. So there's all that. I just really wanted to kind of, I like to jump in and kind of give the update and just kind of refresh everybody on that. <laughs> so let's see what our message is here. Good times can be coming, but they're not going to look the way you want. Okay. I always say that, but you know, all right. So we have serendipity. This is what I was talking about with the readings or, you know, what do your meditation, whatever tool you want to use. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you're doing it. Okay. <laughs> so that we can have a clear energy field to let that divine inspiration come on through. Now, I recently, I was running around holidays in the end of the year, especially when you have social media that's a spiritual channel. It can be really busy in like a beautiful way, but really, really busy. And I realized I was kind of stuck or feeling stuck and feeling exhausted and I needed to do a shock clearing. So I spent some time in these past few days really just going through all the chakras. <laughs> and yes, you can work with the archangels to help you with that as well. But we need to be clear so that we can leave the lines of communication open. If we are worried about money, if we are worried about where we're gonna live, if we're worried about you know what our love partner is doing, if we're still loved by that person, you know, all of this kind of stuff, you know, that can be blocking the crown chakra. And now you can't allow, first of all, the divine love in. It's there, it's on offer. 
but it can really block everything else, you know, in your body, all your electrical outlets. That's terrible. It's like we're a wall and we have electrical. Wow. Okay. Forget I said that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, we got to get in alignment and make sure every. <laughs> I want to leave that in. Why, why not? Right? Why not? Anyway, so we have to make sure that we have our chakras open to a healthy place. Okay? And that, that you know, information, that inspiration, the divine love, all of that can come pouring in. All right. Transformation C. I'm telling you. And the earth is transforming as well. We're already seeing it. We have flooding in California. There have been earthquakes. Uh, volcanoes are erupting. We are seeing horrific things happening in this world. A couple of things happened um, right near where I was visiting for the holidays near my hometown. And I really am kind of tempted to make a video on that, but we'll see. Let me know if you want to hear kind of, um, I won't go into the details of what happened. I'll let you guys see that when I mention it. If you want a video on that, let me know. But we can talk about that being... Um, you know, this awakening to some really awful issues. Think about Idaho, okay? We're getting more information on that. That's what we're talking about here, okay? Amongst other things. But this transformation is personal. It's collective. It's in the earth. If you are not, please listen to me. <laughs> please listen to me. If we are not prepared for this, your ego is going to get in the way and you're going to be one of those people. I've seen it over and over and over again where people you know, have certain expectations about how they want to be perceived in this world. And then when they don't get that and they're not spiritually connected, they can fall into a deep depression or even worse. Think about when the finance world collapsed, when the banking system collapsed, collapsed years ago, what were some of the financial people doing? They were, they were doing you know, the darkest thing a human can do to themselves. And that's because they were not connected. They, they thought that, or I don't know what they thought, but I'm, I'm guessing that, you know, if they think that they don't have their job or they don't have their reputation, then, then it's over, right? So we can't have that. We can't be having that yet again. This is not a call for us to give up and give in. You're going to see lots of corporate bullying. You're going to see lots of threats come your way and realizing they don't have a right to do that. <laughs> and these places do not have nearly the amount of power that they're trying to make you believe they do. Okay. As a matter of fact, a lot of these uh, larger businesses have been operating from an illegal standpoint. So just bear that in mind. So get ready for this transformation. Again, even if you don't get a personal reading with me, go, go invest in yourself in some way, some spiritual practice, whether you want to sign up for a meditation class, be careful with that because then... You know, you get a bunch of people together. Someone always thinks they're the guru or whatever. Um, if you want to buy some books and, you know, teach yourself about various practices. Right now I'm reading The Urban Monk. I just started it. <laughs> so I will report back um, if, if it's something that I would recommend. But, you know, just be investing in your spiritual wellness, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. All right. God. I have been feeling for a very long time that it's sort of like God has had enough. God is here. God is present. Um, God is going to make uh, themselves known. And uh, I don't know how to say that because God is gender neutral. I know patriarchy like wants to see it as a man. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's a whole other discussion. But God is here. God is in full force and what is not working, it's going to be like Jesus in the temple and flipping those tables. Okay. God's going to come down and flip some tables. So I don't know if he's going to send Jesus to do it. We'll wait and see. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know everything, but I do know that this energy, this life force, this uh, experience of love and purity is coming back. And I'm, I'm almost getting the feeling of like the flood the ark okay and cleaning not not literally like that but in a way we're seeing people be exposed we're seeing things get swept away that that needs to go okay i know in my own personal life it is becoming whew, 
as soon as this new year hit, it was so apparent what needed to change drastically and quickly. So again, that's God, source, creator, the universe, however you want to see that. Because I have lots of people from different <laughs> uh, you know, spiritual practices watching this. Whatever you call that that force or that power, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's getting amped up here. And it's going to be very obvious to us. And it's sweeping away things that do not work. So I, I expect that some of you that come in uh, for your year overview, you know, if, if something does come up about an ending, say around a relationship or friends or something like that, just know that it needs to go. Oh, and I should say too, I put up a little fun thing where if you've purchased a reading in the month of January here, um, if you comment on this video or on my post, I'm in and you are subscribed, I will be picking a winner, I guess, <laughs> of a free 30 minute reading in the beginning of February. Okay, so you have to be a client, a personal reading client, comment I'm in and be subscribed. Okay, so I don't know, people seem to have some fun with that. So we're going to try it out. Here's the other card, confusion. All right, so this is where we're trying to break away from everything that we've ever known, but we don't see the path forward because we, we've never had to, what we're about to create, we've never had to create that before. So this is about resourcefulness. This is why having your, you know, spiritual energy reserves <laughs> on the ready uh, is, is really important right now. Okay, and will be. From now on I mean it's always been important but like especially now especially now it's really important so when you're kind of confused like you feel like well I know I have to move on but I don't know how it's okay you are creating the steps as you go let's get one more card out of this other deck change your life oh man angelsouls444.com if you want to come get a session with me I promise you I I know how important these times are okay so even if I'm used to doing so many readings in a day um if I have to work into the evening hours to make sure that you are getting the messages uh angels will definitely help me have the energy and the focus for that when it's necessary so we'll do it that way okay like just just please take it seriously Archangel Shamuel Archangel Shamuel is all about love and reaching your fullest potential and helping you realize what is holding you up. Okay. So especially for those of you who might be in a caring profession and maybe it's become a little too codependent, um, you're going to be seeing that. Or if you're not in a healthy relationship, it's going to end. This is 16, reduces to seven. We're in a seven year. No, no more room or time for the nonsense. Okay. And it's time to let go possibly of everything you've ever known you've ever known I can't talk <laughs> possibly letting go of things you've ever known uh and and not knowing how to move forward like we were saying a sudden revelation that offers freedom see that's the good part of it if you allow yourself to realize this and go there's the major obstacle okay so the confusion that so you have your revelation so you know we can help you get to that revelation and then how to move forward um helping with that some guidance around that as well Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Now, the break free of procrastination, that kind of has to do with this. So we're suffering, we're suffering, we're suffering. We're calling out saying, why are you doing this to me? God, how could you let this happen? I just had this conversation with God. How could you let this happen? You know, why is it like this? Why are good people having to suffer? You know, all that kind of stuff. Why is this stuff happening to children? I can't, God. You know, like, I want some answers now. I have that. Yeah, I did that. Um, it's good to do that every once in a while, I think. You do whatever you feel comfortable with, but I, I have those conversations. So this break free of procrastination is just open your eyes. Look at what is right in front of you. Know that you need to change it and stop listening to the bullies. And the bullies would be um, corporate bullies, property managers that are threatening you. You know, they're not doing anything legal. <laughs> like they're, Or they're doing all these illegal things excessive disturbance of the peace, you know, letting things happen that shouldn't be happening, but they're going to threaten you with this, that, and the other. You know, it's like all that kind of stuff or your friends telling you, you don't look good in that. You shouldn't wear that. 
Now, if you say, oh, you got to watch how you say the word bullying, um, that's another thing that's going to stop the social police who want to twist everybody's words. It's a form of gaslighting. Your day is done. Okay. So we're not being bullied on social media anymore. I look for a lot of creators, well, at least I hope, to start, you know, well, to stop being so codependent with their viewers, for example. And going, oh, okay, that's, okay, that disrupted you. Okay, 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 well, I'll change everything now to suit you. We see a lot of creators doing that. And that is just showing that they're more concerned about their reputation than doing their work. If you get some constructive feedback, I always say there's no such thing as constructive feedback in this world because usually people who are delivering it, they're they're trying to tear you down so they don't mean it in a constructive manner, but they're hiding behind that term. But if somebody says, hey, have you ever thought about doing this? Or hey, did you know that there's this trend going on? I think you would be great at that. You know, that's helpful and that's sweet and that's kind and that has good intention. But people are like, I don't like when you do this. You're to this. You're to that. That's dark. Okay, that's dark energy at work. So we're starting to learn to recognize recognize where some of the phonies are, okay? And where some of the people are just trying to act like all spiritual while they're tearing somebody else down. Or um, people who are in it for the money. I know for me, being a spiritual practitioner, I get paid like a school teacher. So there is no doing it for the money. I mean, it's a labor of love. It's not... You know, it's not, at least for me, it didn't make me rich. You know, so, you know, getting out of those kinds of mindsets and looking around, not that it's, listen, hey, yo, there are lots of successful authors out there who are spiritual practitioners and they deserve all the success that they have. I'm not trying, <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad if they're successful. But what I'm getting at here is that we're really going to be able to discern what people's intentions are. Instead of jumping to conclusions in our minds, we're going to give some space and hopefully a little grace to, to feel that out and to be more discerning. And also be more discerning in our own lives. All right. One more time. Be doing the work. I hope to see you guys on some lives. I love chatting with you. Getting to see your faces. Especially if I have, you know, seen your name pop up so many times. And I've just never seen you. Or you've come in as a, as a client. And because I deliver it via MP3, I've never seen your face. You know, it's really lovely to be able to have that kind of connection with you. So I do hope that you will join me on one of those lives. Pricing varies depending on what it is. Obviously, a hangout where you're just asking questions, that's going to be at a lower price point than like a teaching session, you know? All right, so check all that out. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye.